Hey guys, Heavy Arms 45 here. Now, last week I did my versus battle between uh, Pennywise versus um, Freddy Krueger. And if you watch it, you know who was the winner in that. And with it still being Halloween, um, I figured that I would go ahead and keep on with the Halloween stuff. I'm sorry that I'm a day late on doing this. Um, I got preoccupied doing some stuff in my everyday life, and yeah, y'all don't care. Um, so, what I wanted to talk about was zombies. Zombies is always a terrifying thing, hence why a lot of people have a zombie plan. I used to have a zombie plan, but I don't have a zombie plan right now. I have stuff that I'll use if a zombie came, but... You have all these shows like Z Nation, uh, The Walking Dead, uh, Fear the Walking Dead. Uh, I'm trying to think all the other shows. Uh, not, besides just the TV show, you have the movies like uh, World War Z, um, Dawn the Dead, Shaun the Dead. Um, and yeah. When it comes, oh yeah, Left 4 Dead, if you're into video games, uh, Dead Rising, um, I think I've gone through all the dead things I could think of, but that being said, I've, I've played some of the games, I watched some of those shows, and Someone got upset at me over this, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I do not like zombie shows. And I it's because there's no hope. Uh that's the reason I don't like zombie show. When it comes to zombies, there is no hope for most people. It's just a question of how long can you survive? Because like if you go with the idea of the walking dead, like from how the uh walkers looked when they first started they look like regular people but the more you see them you see that the skin's coming off them the brain is basically the only thing like still working but the rest of it like the bones and stuff are well not the bones but the muscle and everything is starting to decay away because the body is technically dead but the only thing moving it is probably like some kind of fungus that's keeping the body going and other than that, there is nothing else. Uh, I wanted to say that it's kind of like that parasite, parasite Pokemon that literally the Pokemon is that it's like a crab Pokemon that this fungus took over body. That's why its eyes are like completely whitened out. Uh, because technically, it's a dead Pokemon. But I think it's considered a, I think it's considered a plant Pokemon. But that's besides the point. Um, but yeah, when it comes to zombie shows, it's a question of how long you can survive. And, but they have a whole numbers game against you. Like when you watch Done the Dead and all this stuff, um, these people are locked up in this mall and just waiting to try and find a way to get away. And they could live perfectly fine in the mall with no problem. You know, they could have made it the whole, I don't know. I don't know how long you could live in a mall. Because technically, if you went ahead and uh, got everything from the uh, food mart and everything like that, you have a good amount of food. You have the candy bars in there. Um... You probably wouldn't have teeth after a while if you eat all that chocolate, but you know, the GMC's in there. But it's still a race against time because eventually, um, not the zombies going to come in, but um, you're going to run out of food. So you'll starve to death. Um, in that situation also, you have one moron guy who's trying to protect his girl who basically brings it basically creates a zombie problem inside the building and 
starts having people actually killing each other. And also when it comes to the whole thing of um, zombies, you have basically two people you fighting. And I remember back in a movie I watched called uh, McClintock with John Wayne. He said, you don't want to have a fight on two sides. And that's really what you're doing. Because your fight, as you see in stuff like The Walking Dead, is your fight is not just against the zombies that are out there. Your fight is also against other people. Because you start seeing what people really are like when they get into, well, back into a corner. I'm about to say get into a, a like, dire situation. But you get to see people at their basic instincts of things. Um, you know, a person that, let's say, a person who always talk about how good of a Christian they were when everything was good and fine, a zombie apocalypse happens, they're starting to try and figure out who they don't kill off first, you know, um, and, you know, that's the same kind of like for people who play video games like Fallout, when you watch Fallout or play Fallout, you see people who are like, they completely lost their mind. You see that without the restraints of the everyday life, these people are going ahead and going back to, like I said, their basic instincts. They're um, killing people in some cases. And I think that's what you have a lot in Dead Rising because you have a lot of people who are like they consider maniacs. Are these people maniacs? Not really, but, well, I'll take that back. In Dead Rising, yeah, you do have a lot of maniacs in that. Um, but let's take the game like Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead, it, you're four people trying to get away, but things just constantly keep not going your way. Then you have these super strong um, zombies that's trying to keep, like the witch, kill her as soon as you see it. Um, then you have the, um, what's, I forget what his name is. You have the smoker that all of a sudden, uh, gasses up everything around you, uh, and attracts all these other zombies to you because they all of a sudden have a sense of smell. Um, the juggernaut that just comes up and, oh, well, the tank or juggernaut, whichever one you want to call them, that just bone rushes you as soon as he sees you and it's just really crazy out there uh but that's the whole thing about a zombie virus if there's a zombie virus there is no one out there that like unless you're dealing with something like i am legend which i know technically i am legend everybody wasn't zombie they were still sentient but let's look at it that way you're the last person uh that's normal is whatever you want to say normal is uh if you're the last one and you're trying to save everybody uh you know there's at least a chance of there being a cure like there's a lot of shows that's like hey we heard about this cure in such and such place and then they get there there is no cure so what you do you have to basically survive like i like stores that have the chance of people having a happy ending. I understand that things can go evil. I mean, like go, um, I about to say, uh, sideways, and like you could have the happy ending that you wanted, but all of a sudden, the person dies or something like that. I understand that, but the opportunity for there actually have been a chance for them to have a happy ending kind of does make me feel better and when it comes to the zombie fire there is no chance of a happy ending you're going to die it's just a question of if you're going to die now or if you're going to die later and the person with you i'd like to die later i would not like to have my body being torn apart um in my house or wherever i am um just because somebody was foolish enough to let the zombies in or the zombies somehow got into where i was at but that also when it comes to uh 
zombies. It's a question of you having people that you consider someone that you can trust. Because if you're by yourself, as you've seen in The Walking Dead, it is rare for a person to be able to survive in a zombie apocalypse by themselves. Um, you need a team. Like, even if you're saying just for procreation purposes so that if y'all make it someplace where y'all can be safe, two people can start back like repopulating the world. Maybe have a small food shortage in the process, but you know, being able to bring back the human race, teach them something, you know, um, you, ha you know, and I had used to have, a. I used to have a friend who me and him talked about zombie plants and who we want our crew. And I was very blunt with him sometimes on um, the people that I wanted on my crew. And he was one of them. But some of his choices I disagree with. And um, I told him that if it came down to it, we would have to uh, give up some things that he would have that he thought was essential. But he didn't want to. But the reason I also said that was because I felt like he was a, I thought he was a good gunner. If I need, if I had somebody that I need to watch my back, I figured that I could trust him to shoot a gun and possibly hit something in the head. Um, there's not, but you know, like when you looking at these shows, cars don't work. There's gas everywhere, but the roads are so blocked up from other people trying to get away and being it, the virus suddenly starting up to affect them that, you know, you can't drive anywhere, but, um, and like I said, there's food, you know, but you'd have to get back to basics. So I would love if I was trying to set up me a zombie team, I would love to have somebody who knew how to cook somebody who knew how to actually hunt somebody who knew about uh vegetation like they've gone to the woods and stuff like that that knows how to like okay these type of fruits we can eat these i mean these mushroom fruits whatever we can eat these are poisonous i would love to have someone like that and if you haven't gone uh hiking or gone camp before at least like knows what book to look in to make sure that it's okay to do it or has done some type of study into something like that. Um, I also will want somebody who I will also want people who are willing to survive because some people are so willing to just give up because they're like, oh, it's the end of the world. Oh, they're coming together. There's no hope. I'm like, no, no, no. You, we, we're going to. We're going to live as long as we can, even if we have to go through and like bring the air by the house that we uh, can and get everything can good we can find. Because let's face it, well, that's the thing that I always find weird also about uh, stuff like that. Whenever it comes to zombie apocalypse, it seems like in some cases the power is out, but there's no power company like the zombies can't turn. Like, okay, I can understand, like, if you see power lines are down. But most times you see the power lines are still up. Um, the road, the roads might be stuffed. But there are ways of, like, I won't say at least slowing down zombies in some cases. Like, I would probably, if I had it, like, get me a tractor. As I'm passing a bunch of these cars... Just give me a couple of uh, batteries and find me someplace that's fenced off with a metal fence and take a bunch of the jump, give me uh, some jumper cables and basically connect each one of these uh, batteries to the jumper cable so I have a nice little high voltage fence that'll shock them. That probably will keep some zombies away, but you know, eventually they'll fail, but it's something temporarily you can use and also with some people's fortifications of their house because some people don't really need fortification on the house because um 
like when I was coming up, I wanted as a kid to have Peter Pan come fly me, fly into my room and take me off to Neverland. But I knew that he couldn't do it. Why? Because I had bars on my doors. I mean, on my windows. A lot of us got them iron doors and we got them uh, bars on window. Ain't no zombie don't be coming through there unless they like break through a wall, which I can understand if they knew you was there. But like, I don't think that it depends on because that's the other thing when it comes to zombies. It depends on what kind of zombies that you run into. Because you have the fast zombies that like as soon as they they'll walk slow and as soon as they notice that there's a human being around, they start running real fast. Then you have those that will do the slow crawl. You know, like what you find in Dungeon Dragon the Pathfinder, like they can all they can do is take about thirty foot step, I mean thirty feet uh walk, and then all of a sudden they can't attack you, they just stand there in front of you. They just kind of jostle around somewhat. You know, those zombies, I don't want to mess with. I don't trust them. Well, I do trust them because at least I have time to get around them, cut them upside the head. Because all you got to do is take out their brain. You know, just jostle the brain a little bit and the signal to the brain ends and that body falls out. But... Even in that situation, I'm still talking about, I hate the idea of, there's no way of having hope. There's no, there is a lot of chance of there being a nuclear, like, uh, there's a higher chance of you becoming a zombie than it is you fighting the zombies in a lot of cases. And that, because of that, i told my brother one time because we had gotten to a conversation about the zombie virus i was like hey if there was a zombie virus and i was president of the united states i would just like blow up the city they start off it because i'm pretty sure that i'm gonna hear about it as soon as it starts happening because you know it would probably be a big deal if uh guys just like randomly walking down the street and biting people you know it'll be a giant epidemic and they're like, yes, such and such bit this person and this person is now in the hospital over that. And all of a sudden, you know, you don't start seeing that people rising from there. I'm like, nuke. I told him I didn't care if it was in our hometown. And I know my mom and my stepdad is fine. I probably nuke it. Why? Because it's for the greater good. The greater good. You know, by killing that one city, I would stop several other cities and the entire nation from being able to get the, uh, <laughs> I was about to say coronavirus, the zombie virus. Just by, and my brother said that if you did it, if you were president and you would do that, I will hunt you down and I will kill you. I'm like, and I will believe, if you survived that, I believe you would. And I will be expecting you to. It's point blank and blunt. You know, in all these shows, when it comes to the zombie virus, the zombie virus comes so far out of place. Like, it's rare that I have someone scratch me. But you have these people that like, oh, no, this person, like, you hear about people coming back from dead. But these people are being bit, scratched. How many people you know that just comes up and bites you? That's not that's not something normal that people do. Just like randomly bite people. Just like, hey, how you doing, buddy? You okay? I, he bit me. I need to go to the doctor to get a tetanus shot. But and if a regular person coming through town doesn't know about it, the hospital should because somebody bit you. You don't know what somebody got between AIDS, um, AIDS and other, I'm about to try and say other, uh, sexual transmitted diseases. You don't know what somebody has. You don't know what is in this person's mouth. So it's usually good if somebody bites you to go to the doctor. 
and if not to a doctor to a clinic to figure out make sure you okay like most of the time these people be hiding in movies and stuff like that like you know this person bit me let me just wrap this up with an ace bandage and once they like peel that ace bandage off the skin looks all decayed it's black like the where the person bit them at is oozing and they're like "Ooh, that doesn't look good no it's not supposed to look good you look like you don't die what that's why you go to a doctor <sighs> if and i think that's one of the reasons that i don't like zombie movies because like i said besides the ideal hope everybody is stupid you know you and i'm probably the same way if it came down to me dealing with a zombie virus and you like everybody's like oh no i don't have a gun you don't need a gun you got a stick i mean you have like one of them old br wooden brooms that'll work uh you have a poker for your chimney that'll work you have a baseball bat that'll work you have an axe that'll work just don't use the blade in because if it gets stuck you'll be sitting up there getting yourself nom nom down oh you can hate it or love it that i don't like uh zombie movies but you do get my point like there's most movies i think the best thing about most movies is that there's the opportunity for there to be a positive end but in a zombie scenario there's only one way it's on end it's just that you're hoping that it the story lasts long than uh where is it like well yeah like taking dawn from the, dawn the dead into account these two people wake up and their daughter just standing in the door jumps up and starts attacking the dead and the mom jumps out the window that's it if the mom would have never jumped out the window and got eight that's the end of the movie because she was supposed to be the main character that was all they had in the movie. Before that, the daughter was like, I don't feel so good. And the dad's like, okay, you don't stay home tomorrow then. And this morning, you okay, baby? <laughs> and bit the, bit the dad, and the mom runs away. And basically, by the end of the movie, it's hinted that she might live. But then you watch the end credits and you find out, no, nah, she made it to a whole nother island where she thought there would be none of them around her. And there was. What do you do? Well, if it was me, I would have stayed on the boat in the middle of the water, fished, uh, got me, found a way to make me some hot water so I could boil the salt out of my water and did that way. Start, con uh, Whenever it rains, start gathering water by having some kind of funnel or something to catch the rain. You know, stuff like that. Um, yeah. Well, I think that's a good amount of stuff to say about uh, why I don't like the zombie. Well, if y'all think I'm wrong, please send me some stuff to tell me what y'all think about zombie movie are they worth watching are they just a waste of time just like you already know what's gonna happen we just try and see what kind of thrills we can get out of i guess i want to say just tell me what you think and i'll catch you later